Welcome to a solo talk of adventure, and today we're going to be taking a step back from our intense reserve and shoreline journeys and slow things down a bit. See, we'll be switching up our playstyle to a more slow and calculated approach, taking our time to scout and secure our area whilst attempting to execute PMCs without them ever knowing where they got shot from, practically becoming a hidden assassin that stalks people until the right moment to jump them and kill them. But this is going to require us to shift the current way I approach Tarkov, and that isn't going to be any straightforward process. So to have a peaceful and humble start to our adventure, we begin in Shoreline with the objective to complete a few tasks as we slowly learn the ways of becoming an assassin. I mean, we'll just have to see. We'll have to adapt. We'll have to keep changing how we play, changing how we approach things, and eventually, hopefully, uh, things turn out well. Our first two ambulances are literally just here. I highly doubt anyone's gonna be here because of how early it's in the raid, and this is an extract, though it's still good to check, especially the little extract camping spot somewhere up there. What we're here for is to mark two out of the three ambulances for healthcare privacy part one. Okay, we're gonna go quick. As much as I said we're gonna <laughs> slow down and make sure the area is safe, it's like super early into the raid and it's an extract. So why would anyone be here? You know, it just, it, it makes no sense. Where's the other one? And conveniently, the other ambulance was right next to me. Oh, it's right there. Ah, oh, screw it. We also have to be careful for people trying to complete Shooterborn. Because holy crap, do people snipe on this map? And I will die, never knowing where I got shot from. So, I spent some time to plan the route I would take, as I had four tasks I wanted to complete. Because of the vast amount of distance I would have to travel in order to complete these quests, picking a safe and efficient route was necessary. So our next destination was to head to the abandoned village and locate three houses in order to complete courtesy visit. Hopefully because I'm doing these first, by the time we get to having to go to resort, things will have cleared up. I would assume so. But we could uh, we could meet the people just passing out. So, I mean, we'll have to see. I think this is one of the rooms. It is, okay. And then the other two, there's one opposite me, then there's one to the left. We'll go to the one opposite me first. Yeah, once we get to resort, there could be the people who are just leaving. You know, having just cleared resort, looted everything, killed everything. So we should check out for that and scout the area before we push in. But that's considering we make it there in the first place. And with the second house out of the three located, it was time to move on to the last one. But after getting to the third one, I realized something. You know what? I mean, as much as I want to stay here for like, to do all tasks in one raid, that would be dumb, you know? I, I can extract right here, complete one that I don't have to come back to. Screw it. Trust me. There would be no reason to stay. Because courtesy visit, the quest I just did to locate those three houses requires you to survive an extract. If I had died, I would have to head back to the same villages to do it once again. So instead, we just headed into another raid and got the perfect spawn on the other side of the map. And with this spawn, completing our tasks would be extremely easy. But before I started with anything, I first decided to scout the area. It's completely empty. Not a single sound or movement or anything. I'd expect from holding such a wide field and big area to see something, but nothing. There's a spawn like right there, I know. Maybe it's a bit closer, but I didn't see anyone. That's a player. He's blue. I don't know when to shoot. He's never going to stop walking, because why would he? He needs to be in an open field. Right here. Crap. No, come back. Stop running that way. I hit him. He's gone over the hill. I can push to that hill. 
I'm gonna get an angle. I need to keep my distance though. Okay, I'm gonna creep over this hill. Maybe I should have been a bit more patient with my shots there. Where was he? I mean, he's wearing full blue armor. He's gonna stick out like a sore thumb. Did he run away whilst I ran to this hill? I swear he was just over this hill. Huh. And so we waited, and we waited, and we waited, but then... Oh, to the left! dead oh my god <laughs> i didn't see him jesus christ i whiffed so many bullets on him but he's dead but he's dead that's all that matters he's dead jesus christ he got far how did he get so far where did he go he was like right here how the hell did he get all the way there i'm gonna lose his body okay it's like right there i need to remember where that is or by the time i walk there i ain't gonna be able to find it Alright, we'll go loot him, then we'll focus on uh, marking these signals. Should be clear. I mean, I spent all that time looking around this area for him. If there was anyone else, I would have seen him as well. I'm not assuming that it's clear. I know that it's clear. That's the difference. So right now, we should be safe. Which is something I would never say in Tarkov, but... Unless someone comes to this exact spot right now, we're safe. Is that him? That is him. We found him. What do you have? Okay. <laughs> what is this? You're level 36. Timmy is my name. Ah, fair enough, bro. Timmy is my name. Sure. Okay. That makes more sense. Oh my god, he's actually using whatever the hell that ammo is. I forgot the name, but I know it's horrible. What an interesting kit. I think he has enough cheese. What is this loot? I mean, sure, nades. Why not? I have nades now. Even though the kill wasn't anything special, and the loot was practically useless, it was a glimpse into the world of being an assassin, executing PMCs from afar, without them ever knowing where I was. Looks completely clear. It's also completely silent. But if I do see a dead scav, then that would be a little, uh, sus. Okay, the scavs are here, but they're alive. That That's... Good to know! There he is. I hit the rock. I hit the rock. What a waste of M80. I think it's behind here. Yeah, it's right there. It's not right there anymore. Alright, which... Um, antenna. Okay, I was about to say which one do I have to signal. I found it. Cool. But before heading to resort, we had one more signal marker to go up place. Right? Okay, it is. Let me plant. Don't get headshot. And we're good. And finally, our last satellite dish was in resort, along with an ambulance and also a dead body that I had to locate. The only problem was, because I was arriving at resort late, there was most likely already gonna be someone there. Oh, that's a cliff. Has the car extract been taken? No. Okay. Well, one, we could take that. Two, if anyone's in this new expansion area, don't know what it's called, that would be definitely somewhere they would most likely be planning to go. Before I headed over to resort, I wanted to scout over the new expansion area to see if anyone would be running over to the car extract. This is a nice place to lie down, I think. Uh, no, I should go a bit higher. Just a little bit higher. To that rock right there, that's perfect, actually. Will I be able to get shot from resort? I will, but very highly doubt anyone is going to be here looking at me. Nothing along there. No one along here. Car is still there. And it hasn't been paid for, I'm assuming. Yeah, it hasn't been paid for. What we're kind of looking for here is scavs, because if there are scavs there still alive, 
as most likely not a player. But if we see like a dead scav, then that's a huge sign. Well, that kind of confirms that there is a player. Then it comes down to if he's still there or not. Yeah. There's no living object on my screen but the goddamn bird up there. <sighs> I think I'm done with that. No one's there. So, it was finally time to go complete our quests in resort. Where is this? Oh my god, it's there. On a pre-med? I'm gonna go. Can we get the corpse? Like that? Okay. I'm gonna hide because the next one's aggressive. I have to go all the way to the top of West Wing. Alright, that's done. An unlucky death from the sky bridge above us, but in order for me to feel good in moving on, all I wanted to do was finish marking this last satellite dish. And with our tasks finally done, it's time to move on to really start hunting PMCs. And hearing shots straight away after leaving resort, I decided to go and try to hunt them down. There. He's inside there. I think he can leave from there. That looks like a door. And if he runs straight to the right, I mean, that's. Where's he going? Oh my god, he's coming towards me. Okay, we gotta be patient with this. Let him go to the open. Yeah. Come on, a little bit more. I should have not shot. I screwed it. No, I didn't. Ooh. Oh my god, dude. We gotta be more patient. We gotta be more patient. I gotta... <laughs> I gotta let my trigger finger chill a bit. Oh my god. I mean, we got him, but... Jesus Christ. We got a long way to go till we become an actual good assassin here. Because right now, we are on our learning stages. Even though the kill was still a little scuffed, with me missing, majority of the bullets that I shot at him, we still went completely unseen the entire time. Well, if there's another guy sniping, I guess I just die, but I mean, I can't say much, that's what I did to this guy. Ooh, what is that? Oh, never mind, that's not that good. Eh, that's my reaction to this loot. You're level 42? Yeah, I don't know about that. That's a that's an interesting build for level 42. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't know about that. Ah, <sighs> I yeah, sure. Once again, a pretty high level with an extremely low level kit. I don't understand why. Maybe it's running good ammo. BT. Well, that's not necessarily good but not bad things were going pretty well so far but to be completely honest i still barely knew what i was doing see being able to kill players like we just did does require a considerate amount of patience and map knowledge but without being insanely lucky just to have them be there makes it extremely rare so unless we find something else that doesn't rely on waiting for other players to give their location away then this isn't going to be a viable and consistent strategy. In hopes to secretly hunt down and kill players, I headed into Interchange, searching specifically for killer farmers. And I wish I could magically script this to be the assassin's dream, secretly spotting PMCs and following them until the perfect moment to line up the final shot, to then end their raid, and doing all of that without them ever knowing where I was. But in reality, that's just not what happened, because as much as I searched and continued to search, I couldn't find a single living soul, let alone even hear a single shot. 
So, this challenge was going to be way harder than I initially anticipated it to be. But at this point, we're too far deep into this to pull out. And I really need to find something that would work. So as I spent some time to lay back and think of our next step forward, we roamed the world of Tarkov, praying to magically stumble across another player. And moving on, we also tried customs, in which this time, we got our one and only chance. That's the guy. Oh my god. Yes. Okay, we gotta be patient with this. We cannot miss this shot. Holy crap, he's geared. And after seeing him push towards the body, I was certain that I had this kill in the bag, because being so quiet and playing so patiently, surely he would have thought that the area was clear. I heard you empty, too bad. Oh. If finding players is gonna be the issue, then I need a way to lure them to me, which lands us in interchange with a bag filled to the brim with another empty bag and four hats. Whoever loots this would be absolutely blasted that they just gained a full bag's worth of loot. Little do they know, I'd be watching them the whole time, ready to scoot up all of their loot. Or at least, that would be the story if someone would actually come. But that's okay, because we went back for round two, and this time, I managed to break my shoe rack. I'm not even joking. The moment I stepped away from Tarkov for literally five minutes was the time we had our first customer. The only problem was, I wasn't there. Luckily, it was a scav, so his loot at the end of the day wasn't anything crazy. This is just gonna be a waste of time for him because my bag has practically nothing in it. And eventually, I did come back. However, this was way after he left, and I'm sure he's very happy with the four hats he got. Someone, uh, the guy looted my bag. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Giving one more attempt at this strategy, this one was definitely very close. I'm so dead. There's no way in hell. I cannot move. Oh no, I'm dying. He's moving too far to the left. Just end it. I'm so scared. As no other map was really working, I returned to Shoreline, starting from the beginning, but this time aiming to specifically hunt down players, trying to do so whilst going completely unseen. There's shots towards the pier. I'm gonna go there. We gotta chase the shots. Hunt this guy down. Screw it. Oh, it's snowy. Actually, I could check this power station. People could be here. Where is it? Right here? Yeah, are there any sniper scavs on top? Yes. With the sniper scav being there, it was extremely unlikely that there was gonna be a PMC there, as most players who passed through this area would have already killed it. In that case, I... 
don't think anyone's gonna be there. If Sniper's Cap is up there, then like, how the hell is anyone gonna be there? Making my way over to these shots at the pier quickly was crucial, as the quicker I can get there, the better the chance of them still being there. If they don't shoot, I can't get their location, like I just will never find them unless I just get lucky to stumble into one. And arriving fairly close to the pier, it was time to get in the spot and scout the area. Oh, that sounds nice. Oh. No. Oh no, I'm getting sniped. I'm getting sniped. Having already gotten shot at, this was pretty bad, as the player would already be fairly suspicious on the area that I was in, constantly checking on it to see if it could spot me again. But I had a plan. I feel like we need to crawl into it, because all this guy's gonna be looking out for is like movement on his screen, you know? So if I minimize the amount of movement I do, it's gonna make it a lot harder for him to spot me. I don't know. I feel like he's way more to the right. Like down there. I'm gonna try to go a bit more this way. It's way too foggy, bro. Oh my god. Holy crap. Now confirming that there was indeed a player on the other side, I had gained the advantage over him, pinning down his location without him spotting me. He's gone down to the road? Dude, that's so hard to see. If he goes down to the beach, I have to push more this way. But if he doesn't, then I need to stay where I am. No, he's not there anymore. But it wasn't long until this happened. Found him. What? Did he really go to the road, run along the beach, and get up here that quickly? Damn, that's the same guy, 100%. 100%. I can just tell by what he's wearing. And this is when everything really started to come together, and my assassination skills in trying to hunt players down really started to pay off. Bro, this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Oh my god. Damn, that's not bad at all. Nothing insanely crazy, but I mean, I'll take it. It's better than everything else we've gotten. <laughs> Those level like 42s who have the most random AK ever. And this guy's what? 23. Yo, props to this guy. He's running something actually nice. A cyclone. Oh, he killed someone. Oh, he killed two people. Okay, sure. I'll take it. Alright, before we leave, I'm gonna unpack my mag and top it up with M80s. Oh, I only shot three times. Never mind. But things weren't over just yet, as it was finally time to head over to the extract. And as Path the Lighthouse was the closest one to me, I decided to go there. Oh my god, I thought that was a- THAT IS A GUY! <coughs> this has too much zoom. This has way too much zoom. And not really knowing where to go or what to do, I chose to sit in a bush right next to where I got shot at and heal up. Not the best decision, as it was fairly easy for him to pin down my location. Oh my god, my thorax. Oh my god, an airdrop. That's gonna be so loud. Okay. But the grind wasn't over that easily, as if I could get a kill, I was pretty happy with it. Oh! Let me look up. There's a guy. Bad idea. Bad idea by him. I whiffed those two shots, you should've ran back. Holy crap, he is far. I wonder if he has a friend. Bro, how am I gonna loot that? Like, I already killed him in a bad position. And me having to loot that means I have to go into that bad position. And so I spent some time to scout the area to see if he had a friend, I did only see him on his own the initial time I, uh, I saw him. But he could have been split up from his friend if he did have one. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna go loot his body. I wanna move on. We'll see what he has. Unless he has something absolutely insane, I'm just gonna 
take whatever and just move on, go find someone else. But if it is really good, then I mean, I'm right next to the extract. Um, he died. Where'd he die? Oh, right there. Oh my god, that's a horrific spot. That is horrible. I don't even want to go there. Oh my god. Eh. Yup. He had a friend. <sighs> you know what? I'm gonna go to the shoreline expansion. I have seen a countless amount of people in this area. Not only when I've been there, but like hearing shots there from a distance. And the only way to get here is through a huge open field. There's not really much more I could ask for, right? I think even just being right here would be good enough. The only thing I wouldn't be able to see is if they ran from that side way down there. That's just going to be simply too far. But I feel like most people come along here. Like this fence. Yep. Where's he going? He's... Where'd he go? Is he a magician? He vanished. Huh? He... I am so confused. Huh? He was... There? Then he walked past a bush and he never came out the other end. And so I changed my spot, moving into a much more highly trafficked area. Like right here? Can I see the car? No, I don't think I can. Why has it gotten so dark? Is it a goddamn solar eclipse? Okay, I'd rather sit over here. Looking kind of like diagonally from it, because I, I can cover more land. Come on. Maybe a bit back. This is a bit aggressive. Right here. This works. I can also see like this part of the expansion bit. Right there is a lot of loot. And in the shed there, so people would go through that. And so it was time to wait. And it was only a matter of time until our first customer came. My god. There's no way he knows that I'm here. Hello? Where's he going? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Oh, that was brutal. He was probably gonna go take the car extract. Hmm. I don't even have money for it. Hopefully he has it in his pocket. He doesn't look that, uh, that chunky. He's probably just a little Timmy trying to do his loot run. I'm gonna wait, like, uh, five or so minutes because maybe he had a friend. He was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna run to the car extract first. I'll meet you there. I'm gonna guess level 23. 23. 26. Oh, is that 26? No, 29. Uh, okay. Okay. His bag is completely full. To oh my god. <gasps> what? Three water filters. Bro. That's like 400k right there. What the hell? That's the most valuable thing I got out of him. The three water filters. Bruh, it's goddamn raining. And it's so foggy! <gasps> huh. Doesn't even matter if it's foggy. <laughs> Bro probably thought he was safe. Maybe today is a good day. You know, it started off a little bit rough. You know, we got a kill, we died. We got another kill, and we died. And even though things didn't seem like it was going that badly, honestly, I wasn't even mad. Because getting these like one tap long range kills when they don't even know where the hell you are, literally assassinating them with a silenced weapon is so satisfying. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh my god, level 16. Yo, props to this guy. Jesus Christ. 
and heading out with once again another successful assassination, it was time to make the hike we all know and love towards the extract. And for one last time, we returned back to shoreline. Oh, I love this so much, bro. I, <laughs> this is so fun. This is so good. Oh my god. This is absolutely amazing. 37. 26. Man, what the hell is this? Bro, look at the HP on his gun. 32 out of 90. <laughs> and after all those shoreline raids, I feel pretty confident and happy with how things ended. Learning the ways to hunt down PMCs, staying under the radar until the perfect time to assassinate them.